welcome back so in the previous video we have talked about user risk policy and coming to this video we'll be talking about silent risk policy and uh, we'll uh, implement that so let's go ahead and start so let's go to the active directory click that and here under manage you can see there is a column called security so click that and here under manage you can see not under manage sorry under protect you can see there is an identity protection so click that so in the previous video we have talked about user risk policies which is under protect and in this video we'll be uh, talking about sign risk policy so why do we use it so basically it identifies and responds to suspicious uh, sign attempts and can prompt the user to provide additional forms of uh, verification using uh, Azure AD multi-factor authentication. So he has to perform this MFA in order to get the access or else he'll be blocked uh, based on the policy that we are creating right now. So let's go ahead and uh, click that. So you can see we have to just uh, make a few changes here uh, as like previous video. So coming to the users, right now all the users have been selected so let's click that so you can uh, make this policy to all the users or you can limit uh, it to a specific users so if you click uh, select users we have all the users in our directory so you can click any user or uh, the relevant group that needs to add this policy so right now i'll just use one user in this case and you can also exclude the users but i'm not uh, doing that now and uh, coming to sign in risk you can select uh, high so let's select high here and uh, let's skip it done and coming to the control axis let's click that so if this uh, condition satisfies we can block that particular user from accessing the resources or we can allow him access with multi-factor authentication just to be more secure uh, so you can click it done and uh, the one last thing that you have to do is enforce the policy so just click on and make sure that you save this policy so once you save it it will be uh, effective for uh, the whole uh, active directory so that's it for now we are completed with the lab 14 uh, where we have talked about uh, enable sign-in and uh, user risk policy so i'll be keeping the relevant videos in the description for you to watch and uh, if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you've not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone